Yeah, it's just, it's kind of magical to watch them just fall. <laughs> it's like snowflakes, little snowflakes falling. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Adredden Scientific. Uh, we are going to test a few more things about a ladder base and um, maybe do a little bit of a water base. And then we will go check out one of the attempted takeovers of a POI that I did that didn't work out so well. So you got to be a little bit cautious. Anyways, let's hop into it. Okay guys, so there's this structure here that I built, and I figured because the zombies were, you know, behaving pretty weirdly by going on these little sloped blocks that they would basically do something similar on here, plus we'd integrate like a little fall trap. So yeah, and because they are weird with ladders, um, I don't know, I figured it would just sort of stick with the motif here. So the basic gist is, uh, as the horde is coming at you, they of course cannot get you up here, but they're like, hmm, yes, there are ladders. We will climb these ladders and uh, get up here and jump at you. Which great, that's fine, that's perfect. That's exactly what we want. What ends up happening is they fall down here, and then they either climb back up this wall, because this is a pretty convenient wall to get to, or they go up this one. Um, I don't often see them going up here, but um, yeah, anyway, that's sort of how that works. So let's get some friends in, shall we? Turn that off. Yeah, turn on our HUD. And I'm just going to fix up these ladders. I think I've used up all my current ladders. So we need to grab a few more. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I've got a whole bunch right there. My mistake. So I thought two ladders were damaged from the last testing. I think that's all good. Okay, great. So, yeah, from here. Basically, I mean, you, this isn't really great for, like, huge hordes, and ferals aren't exactly the best. But for an early game horde, this is actually not too bad. Um, of course, making it out of concrete is way worse than uh, what you'd be able to do early game, but making this out of wood is pretty cheap actually uh, ladders are not expensive this could all be built out of wood yeah it is very simple a six um, my favorite is the Arlene Ferrell uh, let's get her to look at us there we go and yeah they basically try to jump at you now occasionally occasionally you get a few that fall on you but for the most part, this design works really well. They try to jump, and they just can't quite get it. So they fall. And you can just chill out here and relax, and they will just keep climbing up the ladder. Um, there's the one that came through. Okay. You don't totally chill out. But, you know, for the most part, get off here. Get. Get off here. Whatever. Yeah. So like I said, occasionally they'll get up here. This is a little bit more pronounced when you have feral zombies, uh, more like feral whites. Yeah, let's just summon in like one or two because it's, like I said, a lot more pronounced. Um, you know, I haven't actually looked in the XML. I bet you they have just a better jump range. But of course, they still don't, they're still not really good at it. Oh, you laugh all you want. But yeah, all in all, it works pretty well. And yeah, we've got a couple that have just died down there. Um, and it also works well because you could, in theory, don't know if I have one on me. Hmm. Well, let's use this assault rifle, I guess. But he's even like, just, this happens too. They will sometimes just sort of stop. I don't quite understand what this is about. But hey, whatever. I mean,. <laughs> gives you a free shot um, but yeah as they're coming up you know you could in theory just keep flapping them off blap, blap. right I mean, you have a better clip than I do falls down goes back to the ladder and you just sort of slowly shoot it to death um, of course I'm gonna quickly show you this real quick we'll probably use a kill all command to just um, make sure, because this is a little bit bad when you do a whole bunch of them. Uh, radiator is just obviously going to make it worse. Um, 
So what ends up happening is they're just going to end up jumping over to us. A lot of them will. A lot more than you would kind of think. Um, let's see here. Do I have my nail gun? I just took it out of my inventory, didn't I? Owie! That hurts, guys! So, yeah, this is something you definitely have to be a lot more cautious with. Um, because for some reason, those guys can just hop right over. So, not all the time, like I said, with this design. Um, there must be a sweet spot on here, so perhaps making it with... I don't know. Uh, the wedge blocks might be better. That might decrease the probability that they can jump over. Um, maybe we can do that real quick. Anyway. You have to be, I guess if you're using a gun, you want to be careful not to hurt your ladders. But, you know, all in all, this works pretty well. Yeah, let me just fix this real quick. So yeah, you can also yourself, uh, if you're up here, jump across. And it's generally not a big deal to be able to do it. So it's a, it's an interesting little thing to do. Uh, let's just get a couple more of our feral friends, just as we wait for Horde Knight to happen. Um, curious to see if this will help at all. No, too much? Oh, why did you break that? Hmm. Slightly different behaviors. It's interesting. These guys are much worse for breaking these dang blocks. I don't know why they decide to do it more often. More swinging at me, I guess. Um, yeah, it's interesting the difference in behavior because now they seem less likely to go all the way up to the top and do this. Now, of course... Oh. The other way that works, if you're going to do some um, XML editing courses, use the garage door. If it's open and sideways, you got to do a little bit of XML editing, change the uh, rotation from simple to complex. Uh, you can just let them kind of walk across and it's not a big deal. They'll do that instead of jumping. But if you don't want to edit XML, this works pretty well. Uh, and with this many ladders, they can wreck quite a few of them and still try to come out. But like I said, you know, you can just even take pot shots with, like, arrows. Here, um, let's just get some really crappy arrows. And uh, I'm going to just drop this. And there we go. So, uh, let's get a bow. Uh, let's just get a different bow than that. Yeah, level two. That seems sort of, you know, like somebody would have that. Day 7 horde. It's not too hard to get. But yeah, you can just keep doing this. Not a big deal. Um, anyways, maybe we can finish these guys off real quick. So let's uh, repair this and uh, I'll just fast forward it a smidgen to horde night. Okay, so I've also just added these sliders here. Um, I don't know. I haven't really tested it like this. Um, I've been actually testing this for quite a while, so... If this is a freshly built structure, you know, it's going to last a fair while, um, so, yeah. But you could do this, um, fairly well, I mean, digging this much out by day seven would not be pleasant, uh, I'm not going to lie to you there, but building a tower that's probably the equivalent height up, uh, is probably way more feasible, just cutting down trees and, you know, why not? Um, so yeah, take that for what it is, and we'll go from there. Alright, I just fast forwarded time a smidgen. Um, we have our good fast gun. Um, we're not going to do any repairs real quick. Um, and we're not going to do the whole horde. Um, I don't actually know what my game stage is, because I've been playing in this world for a while. 105, so we're going to get actually a much larger horde than kind of typically would happen. A lot of angry, snarling businessmen. Anyway, let's not waste our time here. Should probably also turn off God mode, because why not? Come on, you. 
So yeah, always be on guard here because they are going to try to get across uh, and they are going to get um, occasionally across. Like you guy. So switching back and forth here is not going to be quick. So of course, you know, in other videos people will put in uh, a ton of bars or uh, even something like uh, this guy here probably would help. I just want to add a little bit of support here. I'm going to do this on the fly just because to show like how unconcerned I am with the zombies. I do have the guide gun, of course, <laughs> so makes it a little bit less worrisome. But let's um, rotate this. Maybe make sure it's in advanced rotation. Oh crap. Like that. This should basically prevent them from hopping over here. Though, I don't know. Okay, this definitely changes their behavior. Because they're smashing more things, but... Yeah, anyway, we can see that they are dying down there already. This might be too much for them to handle. I don't know. There are small little variations, of course, you can just do on this um, over and over to make this a bit better. Um, of course, the, you can obviously put in blade traps and obviously put in um, electric fence posts, but at this early in the game, um, I figure why even show that? Because so far out of all the games I've played, I haven't really had the option on day seven to get anything this early. Um, and the application is pretty simple. I mean, I'm going to show some more designs with electric fence posts that I've done. I think I've shown a couple on a stream before already. Um, with them trying to climb up things and whatnot with ladders. Anyways, it's uh, good times. We'll get to that uh, maybe next time. Dude, please. It's just a ladder. You don't need to be so angry at it. Interesting that they're going off the back so much. Um, I wasn't really expecting that so much. Um, and this wall here, man, that zombie really hates it. But yeah, all in all, it works pretty well. Considering the cost of it is almost a nothing. And of course, yeah, if you have guns, which are pretty easy to come by in Alpha 17, um, it is fairly simple. And you have the added benefit of uh, them getting themselves murderated by falling. So anyways, we're going to hop over to see a bit of a building that I did uh, and a conversion, because it doesn't always work like you expect. Um, so yeah, I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, yeah, see you there. Alright guys, so here's a bit of an example of a house that I thought would work really well for this particular design. But it did not work so much because of these sloped roofs. Uh, I'll show you what happened because basically, I mean, I knocked out a bunch of this stuff just because I was kind of curious. But this little hole up, um, up there is the one that's kind of the most worrying. So what happens, uh, what I thought would happen is that the zombies would be like, hey, there's a hole here. That's fine. And then they would come up and climb up this wall and then climb up here and be like, hey, rah, and, you know, fall down and whatnot, right? But this isn't what happened at all. Um, what ended up mostly happening was that they would kind of start clustering by these walls here and over there. And uh, this, of course, was all filled in at the time, much like that. And they would just uh, smash this until they got out here. Um, I guess, it, and I tried to just, you know, get them to stop by like taking out this area, but it didn't really work. And I think what they wanted to do, because I had a way earlier, oh, it's so hard on these roofs, was to, uh, yeah, make this little in out for me over on this side, because I needed a way to maybe escape or get out. Um, anyways, and so yeah, it did not work at all. They just kept on trying to get around through like other means, like over here and stuff. I guess they wanted to go through this door or maybe break through that wall to get me. Yeah, it was really unusual. 
And, you know, so what if you're going to choose a location for it, POI mm, may not be the best, but I figured this one because it was a three story anyway, it was basically like a natural ball pit. Anyways, you know, just take out the staircase. And this is the one that had the staircase in the middle, by the way, just in case you don't recognize it. Um, there was a staircase that came up all the way around here. Almost been a perfect uh, three by three. I think it was three by three uh, up here. Yeah, anyway, didn't work. I took out a number of these things anyway, just try to force them to, uh, you know, go that way. And also I had ramps here that come came up. That didn't really work. I had a ramp that came along here. That helped them get up to that part, but which basically defeated the whole purpose of this uh, thing here. <laughs> it's just like, if they're not even gonna use this and just use a ramp on the backside here to get up, through here to get me, then there's no point in making any of this. So be careful in what you choose to make this happen. There are other three story houses that might work, uh, but this one is not one that did. So yeah, anyway, let's uh, get back to the testing facility. Oh, there's a dog. That's gonna be an interesting one because the dogs can't really do much when they fall down there, so. There's actually three of them. That's interesting. But of course, they're easy pickings from up here, so. Even with a bow. But they will probably try to destroy your ladders that are low down there. So, I mean, the more ladders you have, the more probability that they can climb up. So, yeah. So, they definitely don't jump nearly as much like this. So, I'm gonna actually just take out these. See what I can do here. there yeah I like this behavior much better they jump at you I would say that maybe doing this is a better choice because that way you can have them jump and if one gets on here you can pretty easily switch over now cops I guess are another example uh, you can probably get like one or two pretty early game so let's find a cop uh oh nope didn't make it zombie fat cop now this is uh, of course the one of the problems and they are gonna spit at you right so you're gonna have to prioritize them um, oh we don't want that one let's take this guy here um, where do you go oh, okay so he's down below us so they Putting um, blocks that you could like fire through here would probably be good. But yeah, they will climb as well up there. So yeah, keep that in mind when you're designing this base for later term hordes. But early game hordes, yeah, this works pretty well. No spitting! If they were to explode, that would be pretty tragic to all these ladders. Uh, probably most of them would go. That's why, I'm, you know, you probably have to do um, something more like uh, what Jay Woodle did, where he had little pathways going out and then coming in. That would definitely allow it to um, the zombies to get up a lot better. But of course, if they're doing, if they're running out that way, well, that would just be for an emergency. I think they would prefer to come up here because it's they think it's quicker. Because they do prefer to climb up these ladders rather than if you had them on the side, they just don't really do very much um, so anyway I figured I'd show this off finally because uh, it's been a while uh, had it just kind of kicking around for a bit I like worked on this one over here but that's a whole other like little thing to go over because it's about a little series for doing bases from other things yeah, so. anyway Yeah, it's just, it's kind of magical to watch them just fall. <laughs> it's like snowflakes, little snowflakes falling off of a slopey cloud. Anyways, I do think this does decrease the probability a little bit, but it's not really that great. Still be on guard, be able to switch back and forth your melee weapons pretty quick. Um, you know, the other thing would probably help could be a bit of a toothy. Let's just kind of design that real quick. Huh. So having this, um, they definitely want to jump a little bit more off to the corners here, which is kind of an interesting thing, but you can um, still stand on here. 
So it does seem like they still want to go on. So I would go with these uh, center pillared ones. Of course, put a little railing on top so it doesn't look like they're floating. But for testing, yeah, that works pretty well. Um, let's just summon in a whole bunch more because, you know, gotta make it more tricky for yourself. There we go. Come on, volunteers. Let's do this. Yeah, so I would say this is probably the best design because now they're a little bit more protected even if they get up here. Though it's going to take them forever. Come on, guys. <laughs> but it's probably also less expensive than spikes. So there you go. We're running out of climbable options down there. Kind of a bit unfortunate. Oh yeah, there we go. Oh, you can climb through there. Good. That actually isn't really that helpful. But anyways, keep experimenting with it. Um, I'm sure you guys will figure it all out. Um, I like this design. It worked out pretty well. I'm quite happy with it. Because of all the jumping and breaking of the dang zombies. Um, now there is, I guess, the option to do like a sort of uh, a multi-tiered fall pit, but I think this is good enough. The zombies just like to do this. They enjoy it. It's what they do on vacation. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video, hit the like button. And if you are new to the channel and like what you see, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.